Hello, it's me again and welcome back to another video. As you can already tell, today we are going to talk about layers. So without further ado, let's get started right away. While drawing digitally, you guys often see me using layers and changing it rapidly in my speed paints. So what are they actually? To be very basic and simple, you can imagine layers to be as transparent sheets or transparent plastics layered all over your canvas. They are usually arranged in order of display. The paint on the layer will cover up and hide any paint on the layers beneath it. There are a number of benefits and a lot of things that you can do with help of the layer. Like adjust the layer opacity, show and hide layers, you can change the layer order and duplicate etc. Let me show you in my canvas. On IB's Paint X, you can find the layer section on the right hand down side where you can see there is numbers and layer symbols right there. Placings can be different in terms of different softwares. Alright, we have a lot to unfold here. First, we have a basic plus symbol that helps you to add new layers. We have another plus symbol just right after that. This gives you three basic options. You can add folders, you can duplicate any layer, you can add any layer from the canvas also. Mostly I use this to duplicate any layer. Next, we have a camera option. Through this, you can import any photos to the canvas from your galleries or file managers. After that, we have some flipping tools. You can flip the entire canvas or you can flip the entire layer. Just depends on what you want. Coming to the symbols on the right side. They are pretty much same only additionally you have that merge layer symbol and we have delete layer symbol as well. Let's talk about blending modes real quick. Blending mode is nothing but an effect that you can add to a layer to change how the colors blend with the colors on the lower layers. You can change the look of your illustration simply by changing the blending modes. On IB's Paint X, you can find it right here. There are various types of blending modes available as you can see. On top of this, we have darkening, we have lightning, contrast, difference and many more. Next is Alpha Lock and Clipping Layer. While Alpha Lock is active, you will only be able to paint inside the area that already has paint on it. I use this specific feature to draw only on the skin or only on hair and so on. In case of clipping mask, the content of clipping mask layer will only be visible in areas where it aligns with the content in the parent layer. I will be using this sketch to demonstrate everything that I just explained. You can see all of my sketches are in the single layer. Now, I will start off by painting his skin. Remember, I told you that layers are arranged in order to display. So, watch carefully. If I paint on the layer top of the sketch, it will cover up the actual sketching. Like so. Now, I am going to drag the layer down and paint on the downward layer so the sketch will be still visible. For shading, I am taking another layer using the clipping tool. As you can see, it only allows me to add colors on the skin blocking section. So by using this tool, I will be able to add the shades that are essential to make his face look more 3D.
since the base color is very pale I am going to add a multiply blending mode layer I will use a airbrush tool to give his skin some gradients and some depth of color Here you can see me changing the order of the layer. This is just my preference. You can skip this if you don't want to. On the same multiply blending mode, I am adding even darker tones to add depth. There are lightening blending modes as well like add screen tone and many many more you can use this whenever you're trying to add some highlights like so using the same method i painted the hair and the eyes i will show you now how i use the layers to paint the shadows and add details to the hair just like before i added another layer clipped it and used the blending mode to be multiply On the multiply clipped layer, I will start shading the darker portions of the hair. This is just a rough sketch of my OC Itsuki for you guys' demonstration and I will not be posting it on my Instagram and you won't find this piece anywhere. So that's it. I hope this video was helpful. You guys wanted to learn about layers. So I hope I explained it well enough. And uh, yeah, that's it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Do subscribe and bye bye.